Hello everyone and welcome to Robot Operating System or ROS tutorials. In these tutorials we present real and applicable knowledge of control engineering, control theory, signal processing, robotics, machine learning, optimization, etc. In this particular tutorial I will explain how to create a CATKIN workspace and packages in ROS. But before we start let us explain the importance of this tutorial. If you want to create an application in ROS, you first need to create two things. You need to create a workspace and then you need to create packages. Consequently, I will teach you these two important topics so you can start programming with ROS. Also, before I start, I would like to mention that it took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this video tutorial. And I kindly ask you to press the like or subscribe buttons, or even both. Thank you very much. Also, before I start, I would like to mention the following. I'm well aware that online on YouTube and more generally on the internet you can find tons of tutorials covering this and similar topics. So what should motivate you to watch my tutorial instead of watching other tutorials? Well, I created this tutorial under the assumption that you have almost no or very little knowledge about Linux, about Linux command line and about ROS. So in this tutorial I will also teach you some basic Linux command and I will also explain you a few important things about bash shell and bash scripting. Okay, let's start. The first step is to open the Linux terminal. You can do that by clicking over here and by typing terminal. Here's our terminal window. The next step is to check the ROS version. You can do that by typing this command. Let's see the result. I'm using the Noetic ROS version. Note that I'm not using ROS2 and I'm not sure will this video tutorial work on ROS2. It's perfectly working on ROS. In order to create a ROS application or a package, we first need to create and set up our workspace. A workspace is a set of directories, files and additional documents that is used to create a ROS package. However, before creating the workspace, we need to make sure that we have sourced our environment. The word source or sourcing the environment means that in our current terminal, that is over here, that's also called bash shell, we have executed a raw script that sets up the basic paths and that other internal stuff related to ROS are properly working. There are two ways to do that. The first approach is to directly source our ROS environment. We can do that by typing source opt ROS noethic setup.bash. Let's execute that command. Cool. Basically, the command source is built-in shell command that will read and execute the content of this file. So let's see this file over here. We can see that file by typing gedit opt ros noetic setup bash and let's see the content on that file here it is for the time being I'm not going to explain this file you should just keep in mind that this is a scripting file that will set up your ROS environment next I will explain you the second method for sourcing the ROS environment first let us close the current terminal and let's open a new terminal The second method for sourcing the ROS environment is to add the sourcing command directly to the .bashrc file. The file name is given over here 
And this file is very important. This file is a configuration script file for the bash shell or for our terminal. When the shell terminal starts, the file .bashrc is automatically executed. This file contains a number of comments, system configurations, and functions that are used to automate tasks and customize our shell. More information about this file will be given in the SQL. So how to see that file? We can simply type gedit tilde bash rc and here's the file. It contains a number of commands, scripts and functions. However, I don't have time to explain everything in this file. For us, the most important part is over, given over here. As you can see over here, I'm automatically sourcing my ROS environment. I created this command, or better to say, I added this command line to this file while installing ROS. However, let's assume that you did not completely install ROS and that you did not add this command over here. Let's close the window. And let us add this command to our bash rc file. We can do that by typing echo then we can write source opt ross noethic setup dot bash and we need to say where are we going to add this command. That is, we need to give a file name and the file name is given over here. Be careful. Double check, check everything. Echo. This is the command source. This is the path. Opt ROS noetic. This is the name of the scripting file. And we are adding this command line to our file bash rc. Let's execute that and let's again see our bash rc file. Here it is and here is the command. In this way we can automatically source our ROS environment when the terminal starts. And this is a very convenient approach since you don't need to type every time you load your terminal this command given over here. Next, close the .bash rc file. After doing that, we are ready to create our workspace. The first step in creating the workspace is to create one di directory and one subdirectory. We do that by typing make directory with the parameter p, which means that we are creating directories and subdirectories at the same time, and then we specify the name of our directory and subdirectory with the appropriate path. Again, the symbol tilde over here is a shortcut for our home directory. So in home directory, we are creating a new directory and this directory will carry the name of our workspace. Let's call this directory my workspace ROS. It is a very good approach and a good suggestion to keep the name of the directories and folders lowercase. Keep in mind that especially when you create packages. And inside of this directory we will create a subdirectory called source. Let's investigate the newly created directory. Here it is. Let's change our current directory to this directory. We can do that by either typing the full name over here or you can simply type first two letters and then you can simply press tab and the Linux command line will automatically complete the name by looking into the database of the current directories and by specifying the correct name. And over here we can type ls L to see the content, of course it's an empty 
folder and we can also go to our source and convince ourselves that it's being created and that it's also empty. Next, let us go to our root directory and let us write inside of this directory catkin underscore make and magic happens. This command will create the catkin workspace and it will create three directories build, devel, and source. Let's see these directories. Here they are, build, devel, and source. And in addition to these three directories, inside of this directory, it will create an additional text file that is a link to the CMake file. Let's investigate the source directory. Briefly speaking, the source directory contains the source code of the Catkin packages. This is where we can extract or clone the source code for the packages we want to build. Next, let us go to our devel directory and let's see its structure. The devel directory is the place where we build targets where built targets are actually placed before they are installed. Then we also have an additional directory called build. The build directory corresponds to the build space. I will talk about build space, develop space in my future video tutorials. For the time being, it's very important to remember that inside our develop directory there are several setup files that need to be properly sourced. We need to overlay our current workspace over the current ROS environment. We can do that by typing source then path to this setup file. The pad is my workspace. Know that I just wrote my and I press tab. And in addition we need to specify the name of the directory and the name of the file. The name of the file is setup.bash. Verify that everything is correctly spelled my workspace develop setup.bash and press enter. Next, we need to verify that our workspace overlays the ROS workspace. We can do that by typing echo with the dollar sign and we need to print this enver environmental variable. And let's see the result. And the result is OK, since over here I can see that, see my workspace, and I can see source. If you don't see something that looks like this, then you did not properly source this file over here. In your case, instead of my username, Alexander, your current username should be written. So keep in mind that. Note that any time you start a terminal, you need to run this command. Instead of doing that, you can add this command to your .bash rc file. So let's do that. There are two ways to do that. The first way is to directly edit the .bash rc file. And another approach is more elegant. That is, we can use the previously explained echo command to add this command to our bash rc file. So we type echo, the command that we want to add, and we need to say that we want to add this command to our dot bash rc file. However, we need to specify the proper path. This file is in the home directory, and the name of the file is dot bash rc. And let's press enter. Let's convince ourselves that this command is being properly executed. We can do that by 
editing the file that is by opening the file and over here we can see that the source command is added at the end of the file however keep in mind the following if you want to erase my workspace and all the packages that we will create don't forget to erase this command from your dot bash rc file this is very important if you want to clean or completely erase your workspace and packages don't leave trash the next step is to create the catkin package there are several ways to do that the simplest possible way is to go to our workspace and then we can go to our source folder in the source folder we will type catkin create package and let's give a name to our package new package for example ROS. Keep in mind over here that you should not give capital names, that is, you should not include capital letters inside of your package names. That's why I'm using lowercase ROS. So let's press enter and let's see the result. And magic happens. We can see that some files are being created, edited, etc. Next, we need to build the created package. We do that by returning to our root directory, that is to our my workspace, ROS, and in this directory we can type catkin make. Let's press enter. And magic happens. Always analyze the output since we don't want to see warnings or errors. No warnings, no errors, so everything looks good so far. The final step is to add our workspace to the ROS environment. We can do that by typing dot and by specifying the path to our bash file. Let's press enter. Okay, let us briefly analyze what happened over here. Let us go to the source subdirectory and let us list our subdirectory. Uh -huh. Over here we can see our new package. Actually, we have a new subdirectory assigned to our new package. Very nice. Let's see this subdirectory and let's see its content. We can see two files. This file over here is a very important file. This file provides meta information about the package. On the other hand, this file over here is the CMake file of the package. Let us further investigate this file. Aha, uh -huh, you can see that it's an XML file with bunch of data and when creating packages, when editing packages, when adding new functionalities, we will need to edit this file and this file is very important. In this video tutorial we can we created a very basic package without additional functionalities and without the additional functionalities and dependencies and we did that deliberately not to blur the main ideas of this video tutorial with the necessary details. In the next video tutorial, we will explain how to add additional dependent dependencies and how to further develop this package and create a full standalone ROS application. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like the videos I create, please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you very much and have a nice day.